This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the S&P 500 closed at an all-time high, surpassing the prior record set over two years ago in January of 2022. All three major averages are in positive territory for 2024 and confirms that the stock market is officially in a bull market that began back in October of 2022. And not just a bounce within a bear market, as many perma bears and pessimists have been touting. The S&P 500 is up more than 35% since that low back in October. Consumer sentiment posted the largest two-month gain since 1991, according to the University of Michigan, as inflation expectations have declined. While the labor market remains resilient with a better-than-expected addition of 216,000 jobs in December, and initial jobless claims hitting their lowest level since September of 2022. That keeps the unemployment rate steady at 3.7%. Now, this suggests a strong underpinning for consumer spending and and corporate profits. And as Larry Kudlow reminds us frequently, that profits are the mother's milk of stocks, and for that matter, business and the entire economy. The one negative on the week was the bond market. As prices fell, and yields rose as the tight labor market has taken some of the steam out of the market's anticipation for rate cuts this year, where the market a week ago was nearly certain that the Fed would start cutting in March and keep going with six more quarter percentage point moves this year, and now thinks there's less than a 50% chance of a March cut and sees a greater likelihood of five reductions this year. Well, time will tell. The top S&P 500 gainers so far this year have been big tech companies. This week, two factors, the bellwether Taiwan Semiconductor, healthy revenue growth outlook, and Bank of America's upgraded rating on Apple Apple stock drove the index's performance. So the stock market keeps scaling new heights as investors focus on the good and ignore the bad, no matter how bad the 24-hour news cycle makes the bad parts look. The news cycle is always intense, but mostly noise, and a lot of it has nothing to do with economics or your personal financial situation. So ignore the noise, stay invested, and be prepared for the inevitable volatility. And follow the investment advice of investment guru, Peter Lynch, who celebrated his 80th birthday this week. And he always said, know what you own and know why you own it. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 75 years of combined industry experience building low cost, tax efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation of your portfolio, all you need to do is text or call right now. That's 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC.